Well, hey, good afternoon. I want to give a special shout out to Mama Sue out in the Chicago area. I just, you know, sometimes your comments, they just really, really touch my heart. And, you know, there's subscribers that leave comments, and it's like the ones that on a regular basis leave comments, I feel like you are my YouTube family. Like, seriously, I'm not even making that up. I'm not even just throwing that out there to, you know, to sound cool. I'm throwing that out there because I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, you guys have no idea. And witnessing and sharing and talking about the Lord and taking advantage of my Second Amendment right, which is freedom of speech, I sit here before you again this beautiful sunshiny day to tell you guys that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So if you don't like change, and if you don't like the flippy floppy, and if you're just tired of the word transparent, when people are apparently being misleading, you know, whether it's on purpose or whether it's on accident or, you know, whether whether they don't even mean to or not, but they're doing it because deep in their heart of hearts, they're just shy. You know, we've got people now, right now, that are trying to ruin our government from the inside out. And I'm not even in politics. And and this isn't going to be a political video. It's really not. And this is going to be a very short video because I want people to know that you're either a believer in the Lord Jesus or you're not a believer. You're just a total rejecter. And there's no middle ground here. And see, the sad thing is there's a lot of videos that are circulating around YouTube and it's all about fear porn and it's all about throwing these, you know, these, uh, these things out there, you know, to scare people and the Fearmongering and all this conspiracy stuff, and you know, I don't even want to get into it. All I know that Jesus is real, Jesus is not a conspiracy. Knowing Jesus on a personal level is the most important relationship. It's the most important thing you can do for yourself. And that's, that's the thing about right now, October 20th or October 21st, 2016. See, a lot of people are, they're ashamed. They're afraid because we're going through a transitionary period right now where there is extreme persecution of the Christians, the believers, God followers. And I'm going to tell you, the reason why I'm a Jesus follower is, you know, a lot of people will throw this out there. Oh, well, you know, you're just brainwashed. You're just doing what your grandma did and your great-grandma did. And, you know, you're just, you're just following family traditions. And, you know, can I just stop and tell you something? You're right. I am. Because 
when you go back to Adam and Eve and when you go back to Abraham and you go back to sons that he had, you know, one was with Sarah, his wife, and, you know, they were up in their years and there were blessings, and then there was Hagar, the handmaiden that had a son, and so all I'm trying to say is there has been arguing and fighting since even before that, you know? And, and people, when they blame God for, you know, for, for physical body breakdown, and I'm not going to name all the diseases because there's too many to name. But you'll hear a lot of people blame it on God. Oh, well, if there's a God, then how come this is, isn't cured? And how come this is happening? And how come my child's been in the hospital suffering, suffering from this? You know what, buddy? We live in a fallen world. And, you know, maybe that's why you're going through what you're going through. Because the Lord has, he works in mysterious ways. And time is so short. And the enemy knows that. So the longer you can stay in denial, and it's not that river in the Middle East, okay? just here to tell you that you are going to be in trouble and right now is the day of salvation right now is the day to repent right now right now seriously we don't even have much time we're on borrowed time as far as I'm concerned you know Jesus can come imminently in a minute. And everybody knows that. The Christians know that. The believers know that. See, we know what time it is. We know World War III is just being thrown out there like it's the ice cream of the week. We know Putin and Turkey and USA. They're over in Iran. We, we know John Kerry is over there talking peace. We know that they're talking about splitting land from Israel. We know what the Bible says about that. Okay, we've got God's judgments that are, are just, you know, I feel like they're just waiting to be unleashed. Just waiting! Because look at all the wrongdoing. And if people don't just stop drop and roll and repent um, you know because see this is the thing and then I gotta go right before the flood Enoch was taken out and so this is just my opinion you can leave your opinion in the comment section but I'm thinking that right before fire and, and brimstone start falling down to the earth like you've seen little sightings of meteors you know Russia China, Australia you know maybe pretty soon Cuba, maybe the US I don't know but all I'm saying is those fireball things are going to grow in intensity and, and, and I feel I firmly believe that the church, we're not going to be here when that stuff starts happening because God is using that as a wake-up call. People need to repent. And if you don't know Jesus, today is the day to ask him into your heart. It's between you and Jesus. You don't want to st be standing before Jesus and he looks in the book of life and says, you know what, Jack Dukakison, I don't even know you. Your name is not here in the book of life. You've never asked me into your heart. You watched the video on YouTube. Donna Diggs was trying to tell you that, you know, that was the day to do it for eternal life.
accept Jesus Christ into your heart, per John 3.16, you got to ask. You know, Jesus is not going to force you into anything that you don't want. You either choose everlasting life, which is found only in Jesus, or you decide again right now, I'm not going to do that because, you know, I just don't believe in that, or, you know, I don't want to be judged, or, you know, the church is full of hypocrites, or, you know, whatever the excuse may be, that's your choice. And good luck with that, because that's the wrong choice. And if you want to talk more about it under an anonymous name, you can. Winger.wanda at yahoo.com Or Donna Diggs at Juno.org I don't know. You'll find me at either one of them. I'll put them in the description box. Anyways, I love you and I gotta go. I know. I hate having to leave. I could talk to you all day long. Jesus loves us. You know, and people need to know this. But you know what? There's only so much time in a day and you can only say this so many times. And without sounding like a broken record, that's why I'm just like, you know what? Because every video is going to sound pretty much like this one. Love you. Gotta go. See you tomorrow, God willing. Bye-bye.